Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna show you how to modify the concatenated list of values quick measure to accommodate a very common report requirement. So I got a requirement from one of my customers that say, Patrick, I'm using the concatenated list of values quick measure. And when a user either empties out all the filters for a particular slicer or a filter that I have on a report, or they select them all, I want the quick measure, I want the measure to say, all years or all whatever column selected. And if um, if they don't, then display a concatenated list like the quick measure should do. It's like, how do you do that? All right, so instead of all this talking, you guys know how I like to do, let's head over to my laptop. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is create the quick measure. So hover over the column that you wanna use with a quick measure and choose new quick measure. So I'm gonna choose new quick measure. And then in the drop down box label calculation, we'll scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see where it says concatenated list of values expand calendar or whichever table that contains the field that you want to concatenate and then specify the number before it truncates right before it says comma etc dot 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 okay and then you click okay and that quick measure is created and here's the dax we're going to come back to this dax hang on we're going to come back to this dax these quick measures are great for people that's just getting started with dax that don't want to be an expert in dax they're perfect for this right check them out right then i'm going to click in the white space on my report I'm gonna click this particular, the newly created measure. And I'm gonna turn it into a card. Just bear with me a second while I do a little formatting. I'm gonna turn it into a card, and now I can see, right, none of my years are selected, and it's just truncating after six years because that's what I told it to do. Now, what I would like to do is when my filter doesn't have anything selected or has everything selected, I want it to say all selected, right? Especially with this new filter experience. If I hide this and I didn't have this here, how would anybody know what years they had selected, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the list of values measure and I'm gonna do something so simple, so simple. Watch this, I'm gonna say if is filtered and I'm gonna look at that year, right? There's the year, close this off. If it is filtered, run the whole measure. If it's not, just say all, hang on one second, I did something bad there. I'm gonna say all years selected, just like that. And I am a little, hang on one second, I wanna fix this, I wanna put some caps right there and a cap right there, right? Then you press enter and it'll compile this guy for me. And if I go back, and you can see, right? I don't have any filter specified in the new filter experience. Now, because of that, it says all years selected. If I open up the new filter experience and choose something, right? You can see it automatically starts bringing those together. If I erase them out, it says all years selected. This is great, so easy. So the quick measures give me a starting point where I need to start and then if I need to modify it, it's so easy to modify this, all right? So what do you guys think? You got any questions, comments? You know what to do, post it in the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, hit me big thumbs up, right? As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. You.